YouTube, oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing my monthly favorites. Um, usually I don't really do these monthly because I use like the same exact products every month, but I've tried a load of new stuff, so I'm super excited to kind of update my monthly favorites. Um, before I get started, my hair is like, today I have a bad hair day, so it is going to be a ball cap day, so ignore the hype beast in me. Um, also, my camera is like broken. My lens does not focus like anymore. It kind of gets stuck when I try to um, like zoom in. So if you know what that is, can you please leave it down in the uh, descri description box so I can stop like, ah! I'm so frustrated about it, I can't talk. Um, but yeah, if you know what that is, when your zoom like lens, when you're trying to zoom in, when it gets stuck, and then you have to like really like, and it makes a noise. If you know what that is, if you know what I'm talking about, um, just please leave that down below. Also, one more thing, I wanna ask you guys, what is your current monthly favorite? Let me know um, what is your like holy grail product of this month that you literally cannot go a day without. I wanna know. So let's jump on in. I've got some skincare and some makeup. We will start off with, um, let's do makeup. Makeup's fun. So one of my favorite things that I got um, is this Tarte palette. My sister gave it to me for my birthday and guys, I am in love. So I believe this is from Ulta would be my guess. It has the absolute cutest kind of like 80s inspired packaging. It says Tarte with a little gold plaque there. When you pop this shit open, look at the shadows. Like, oh my God, I haven't even gotten to use all of them yet. Um, just so you guys know, one of my, literally one of my like guilty pleasures are like eyeshadow palettes. I have so many of them. Like if you need an eyeshadow palette, come to my house. <laughs> Not really, but seriously, if you need an eyeshadow palette, I am your girl. I literally have too many of them. And this one I am so excited about because it's not just an eyeshadow palette. So yeah, you get beautiful shadows, but you also get a little sidecar here. And what is in the sidecar? You get a little brush. I haven't cracked that open yet. You get their lash paint, and then you get their glossy lip paint, which I have right now. And you get, oh my God, a little easel of highlighters. Oh, well, highlighters, contour, and um, blush. Come on, guys. If you guys don't know what a great holiday gift is for the a woman of your life or for yourself, this is a great, 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 great holiday gift. I'm thinking about doing a holiday, holiday gift giving guide. Um, if you guys would be kind of interested in that, let me know because these holidays are freaking approaching. So anyway, you got a lot of different shadows. Let me see how many you get. Colors are super wearable. You even get some fun colors. Like this one's called Being Original. This one's called Kaleidoscope. I really like landscape too. But yeah, love this. I love the little thing here. Love these goodies. This was a really good gift. Thank you so much. And guys, if you're looking for a gift, this is a really, really good one. Especially if the person that you're giving this to doesn't wear a lot of makeup or they do wear a lot of makeup because this has a lot of neutral colors. It also has your blush, highlight, contour, a brush, lips, and a mascara. Like, come on now, you cannot beat that. That is a all-in-one gift. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The next um, favorite of mine is this Estee Lauder Renutrive Intensive Lifting Makeup with SPF 15. I have the color Ivory Beige. Um, so this is actually, I think, like being discontinued, but I ordered this since I work for Estee Lauder. I get to try some of their products. So let's just say this is probably the most luxurious foundation that I have ever tried. I currently wear um, Double Wear Kat Von D and I have um, Double Wear Light. So this is my kind of my like fancy foundation. So I think this foundation retails for about $70, which is super duper kind of expensive. But I think guys, it is so freaking worth it. So when you get this little foundation, you get it in like a super cute, nice box. You open it up, you get an Estee Lauder sponge. I didn't open this up, but the material actually feels kind of like a beauty blender when I like squish it. So you get that, then you get, this is so cute, look, you get a little gold spoon so you don't have to dip your fingers into the foundation and it's like, I think it's metal, it's like, no, I don't know what it is. It's really cold though, but you get a little cute little spoon and then you get a one ounce or 1.1 .1 ounces of your 
foundation. Mine's like disgusting because I like to use this. So this is what it looks like. The spoon just sits on top. It's got a little groove here. And what I like about the spoon is like you don't have to like like dip it in. Sorry, my dog is barking. But you can actually just spoon it out and then put it on the back of your hand. But this is actually super nice. If you like radiant looking foundation with some medium to full coverage, this is fantastic. I think it's called a lifting foundation because I know it has some of the Renutriv ingredients in it, which is their luxury line through Estee Lauder. But it kind of fills in everything. And once again, I don't have wrinkles, obviously. But I do get um, like creases around my mouth and it fills that. And when I wear this foundation, it lasts all day, gives me radiance, and it doesn't leave that creasy mess. So I have been really loving this. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it if you guys can still find it. I really like that. Now, the next favorite of mine, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, I've used this this whole month. Um, so I got the Modern Renaissance Palette by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I got this yesterday. So yeah, but I will say to you guys, this is what it looks like. It's like felt, like the naked um, one palette. I will say to you guys, I use a lot of makeup. It is really hard for me to like something so much at first. I kind of have to use it for a little bit, including eyeshadow palettes, because I am the queen of them. But this palette, I put it on this morning, and holy freaking smokes. It's amazing. Like, it is so incredibly amazing. The colors are beautiful. Today, I'm wearing this one right here, which is um, Railgar. Railgar? I don't know how to say that. And then I'm using Red Orchard or Red Orc. I can't say any of these words. I'm using this one, that one. I have the um, this one right here on, and I have this one on. And anyway, this palette, guys, is amazing. And the best part of this whole palette isn't the fact that the colors are phenomenal. It's the fact that it is so highly freaking pigmented. Guys, when I put this on, like when I use my Naked palette, I kind of have to swirl my brush in um, and like buck for a little bit. And that's the color I use a lot is buck. Um, but you kind of have to swirl it to pick up some pigment. Well, I freaking swirled in the this color here and I put it on and my instant reaction, I wish I was recording it, but it was like, <gasps> because it was so much. And I'm not really used to that with eyeshadows. I didn't really need a lot. And I think that this palette will last me a really long time. The packaging is super duper cute. It's on point. It comes with a little brush. And I mean, you got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 eyeshadows in here. And these burgundy shadows are very in right now. I mean, look at Kylie's new palette. Look at the Modern Renner Renaissance. A lot of the holiday packaging that's coming out through Sephora, Ulta, and Macy's, they're all pretty burgundy. So love this freaking oh, freaking palette. Really highly recommend it. I got it yesterday. If I change my mind somehow, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, that is amazing. Like it is literally freaking amazing. So enough of me blabbering on. Let's jump into the skincare favorites, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start off with some skincare favorites. I did a video on this. Um, I will put that link in the description bar right down below. But this is the Erno Laszlo Detox um, Cleansing Duo. So it comes with a little um, bar soap and then it has the um, cleansing oil. So you use this oil first and it kind of melts away and just strips your makeup off. And then you use the bar soap and it'll cleanse your skin and they work really well together. I got this through Influencer and I didn't, I mean, I have never personally tried a cleansing duo before so I didn't really know what to expect. But I am so happy that I was able to try it because this product is super amazing. It's great if you're somebody like me that likes to wear foundation or makeup all day long and you just need something to really take off your makeup. I love this. And then after you use it, your skin feels so cleansed. I think it's got to do with the charcoal ingredient in here. I didn't think I'd be one of those people that jump on the charcoal bandwagon, but I sure am now um, because I also tried this one and I had to keep the packaging because it's so damn cute. It's the Hell Pore Cleanup Mask and look at the little piggy with like a little nose mask. Oh my God, and look at the blackheads. It's so cute. Like this, I think this is Korean or Japanese. I don't know. It's Asian. Oh, Korean. It's Korean. Okay, so it's Korean and their packaging is so cute. So. Basically, I have fallen in love with this mask and I'm it's really hard not to use it every single day 
because it's, I don't think you're supposed to. I can't read the instructions either. But guys, this is amazing. If you have blackheads, whiteheads, if you have oily skin, or if you have facial hair, this product is for you. So when I apply this, I like to apply a thin layer all over my face. You just have to avoid the lips and the eye area with this because this shit will hurt you. But when you put this on, um, you let it set and you could take, depending on how much you put on, it could take up to like 20 minutes. For me, it usually takes about like 15 minutes. Um, but when you put this on all over, you wait for it to dry and then your face gets like really crunchy. Like you cannot move it. It's not like a normal mask. You literally cannot move it. And then you peel kind of going upward. So all that gunk gets pulled out of your skin. And the best part, <laughs> which is really funny, is like, I mean, your skin feels super soft when you're done using it. So your serum really absorbs and all your creams absorb. But I am somebody that likes to wax my face. I just hate when I put foundation on and I can see like my little blonde facial peach fuzz like sticking through and everybody gets it. So it's not a big deal if you have it. I have it, other people have it. I do people's makeup, they have it. But this stuff like waxes you. I did this again last night. So, cause I knew I was filming today and I don't want to see like the fuzziness on my like face while I'm, you know, editing. But like it literally like waxes your hairs off of your face and I really like that. So I took up my blackheads and then it waxed my face. Come on guys, it's a two in one. Um, and I got this for I think like $8 off of Amazon and I highly recommend it. It's pretty awesome, I really like it. And then I have one last favorite before we end this video. Um, this is my fragrance favorite and I'm sorry but it hands down has to go to Chanel and it is the Eau Premier. This is their second newest perfume. Their newest one is the Le Eau. Le Eau. Um, I don't really know how to say that correctly but that one is the newest one and I really like that one too. I know people were asking. It smells really good. The Le Eau is more citrusy and it's kind of like number five but with a lemon lime twist. It smells beautiful. But back to the premiere. This one is Oh, it's like the lighter version of the number five, but you still get a notable scent from number five So if you've been using number five for a while and you just want a little bit of change um, You should try the Eau Premier. I have a whole entire video dedicated to this fragrance and I will leave that in the down bar But honestly, you cannot beat this. It's kind of a classic now for me I really like this. It smells really good and it's the perfect time of year to wear this um, but yeah, so those are all of my monthly favorites. I'm having literally the worst hair day. I am so sorry guys. I keep looking at myself and you know that's really not like me and I keep rambling. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, leave me a little comment down below and tell me what is your monthly favorite. Thanks everybody, have a great day. Bye.